Hey everyone, Nicole Young here, and in this video, I'm gonna share with you my absolute favorite tool inside of Lightroom, and that is the Guided Upright Tool. To access the Guided Upright Tool, you'll want to be in the Develop module, then go over to the Transform panel. You can activate the tool by either clicking on this icon here or using the keyboard shortcut Shift T. Now, before I show you how this works on a photograph, I'm first going to explain what this tool is doing. Here I have a very basic illustration of a simple four-sided object. Now imagine in your mind that this is actually a perfect rectangle, but it was photographed at a strange angle so its shape is slightly distorted. Now, the Guided Upright tool will help you bring these lines back to being parallel and perpendicular to each other. And the way it works is you basically are just going to be drawing lines on the straight parts of your photo. So for this example, I'll start out just by drawing a line over this top edge, and you can use that little pop-up to kind of guide you. Now you have to have two to four lines drawn in order to see any changes. So first, I will draw a line on the opposite side of this rectangle. And as soon as I release my cursor, it automatically makes those two edges parallel to each other. I'm gonna undo that second one that I just made. And if I were to only draw two lines and have the second line, be either the left or right sides, once I release that cursor, it makes that edge perpendicular to the original straight edge. So I'm just gonna continue all the way around this. And every time I lift up that cursor, it kind of pops into a different position. And once I finish, you can see I have now more of a square or a rectangle and I'll toggle that on and off real quickly so you can see that change. You may also notice that a lot of the image has been cropped down, and that is definitely going to happen when you use this tool, and the amount of cropping is going to depend on how much correction you need to add to your photo. Okay, so now that we've kind of discussed and, and I've given an example of what this does on a very basic image, Let's jump into some real life examples on how to apply this to your photographs. So for this image, I photographed this cup of coffee at kind of a top down angle. And my perspective was slightly off and it was off to the point where I can't really correct it with the crop tool using that rotation feature inside of the crop tool. This is a very, very subtle distortion but it will make a difference if I fix it. So let me go ahead and activate that upright tool. And I'll start out by dragging a line here at the top and I'll just follow that line inside of that wood. And I'll use the one kind of closer to the bottom, kind of in the middle there as my second line. And then it immediately shifts it so everything is perfectly straight from left to right. Now in this example, this is all I need to add here. I don't need to add anything up and down. Let's do a quick before and after toggle of what that looks like. It just adds a nice kind of a finishing and polished refined look and it shows that you have a lot more attention to detail when you have things like this fixed in your photographs. All right, let's jump to another example. Now in this photo, I have kind of a beam across the top there where the little girl is sitting and you know, of course her feet are dangled over that edge. And it bothers me that that beam is, is not quite straight across in the image. So let's go ahead and fix it. I'll activate the upright tool and I will create my first line across the bottom edge of this beam. Now with this photo, I don't really have a second line to follow. And in situations like this, I basically will just use the top edge or sometimes the bottom edge of the actual frame. So I will go up close to the top there, click and drag, and just try to create a fairly straight line. And once I release it, that line that I created on the bottom part of that beam 
is now going to be parallel to the top edge of my image. I'll toggle this on and off so you can see the results. Now in this last example, I wanted to show you uh, what to do and almost kind of what not to do with some photos. Because when you're working with objects or buildings or anything that is basically not a person or an animal, especially their face, um, then it's going to be a little easier to manage the distortion. But with people, you know, really going to notice when things start to get uh, kind of warped and funny looking. So I'll show you real quickly what it looks like if I were to just do a full guided upright to this entire image. So to start, I have these lines going from left to right, and they're a little bit crooked there. So let me just kind of try and find a good spot. I'm just going to kind of find a little spot here in the middle of this fuzz and then just drag it across and release. And I'll use this kind of edge of this shadowy area here and then I'll release that. Now you can already see how, how this is getting a little bit too distorted. If I were to continue and try to do uh, the vertical correction, You know, it's, it's going to really kind of squish things around a little too much. So I'll just toggle this on and off so you can see the example of the before and after and, and kind of how that messed with the overall photo. I'm going to hold that Option or Alt key and then click that Reset Upright to kind of start things uh, back to normal here. So let's try that again. I'll start out by making that first line. And I'm just trying to keep it as straight as possible there. Now, instead of following another horizontal line, I'm going to follow this vertical line here on the left, and then I'll release. Now, we still have some distortion, but let me show you a good way to kind of combat that when you're working with portraits. So I'll put away that upright tool, and I'm going to go down to just the basic transform panel settings. I'm going to go down to that aspect slider, and then start playing with it and I'm going to move it to the left. And as I do that, you can see it's bringing back basically the original perspective of that face. So let me toggle that on and off and I can kind of see how that looks. Now she has shifted to the right a little bit and maybe I can kind of move it a little bit more. But to me, in just looking at this photo, I don't really feel like there's anything off with her overall look and you know, there's nothing funny going on. Now, another thing you may notice is that there's a little bit of white space at the top and also the bottom right edge there. Now, when you're working with the transform tool, there's an option at the bottom to click this constrain crop and that will automatically crop out any white space that you added. I still feel like uh, the crop could be fixed a little bit better here. So I'm going to press R to go into the crop tool and just make a, a minor crop correction here. I'm going to to move her so she's a little bit more on that third line. I'm going to lose some of my background there, but that's okay. And now I have an image that has a much better balanced background where everything, for the most part, is going to be a little bit more level there. And so that is my favorite tool inside of Lightroom, the Guided Upright tool. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if so, please subscribe to my channel so you can get more like it down the road.